Hello everybody, my name is SheGames2, and as you could see by the the opening of this video, we are going to talk about my first impressions of Valhalla. This is 60 hours worth of the game, so... Minor spoilers, I haven't finished the game, so they're just teeny tiny spoilers! Um... Not that much, um... I would. So, if you want to go in 100% blind, then I suggest you do not watch this. So, let's get started. Okay, first off, let's start with the mini games. We have what I'm going to show you right now is flighting. Um, it's basically rap battles. So, here is a f example of a viking rap battle I'll recall what you taught ere I enter the fray A fine answer perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line Now let us examine meaning <clears throat> In flighting you'll need to be cutting and keen It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull And I will spit in your face, and I will bash in your skull. Not bad. That was fantastic. Kitana wins. And not bad. So yeah, um, also, uh, sometimes flighting can make Eivor look a, a little crazy. Um, wanting to bash somebody's skull in for calling them a basically stupid or something like that I forgot what it was for this example um also there is obviously raids also drinking game if I haven't said it yet I probably have who cares um I look forward to in which it's a QTE um, event, um, and uh, they're hard. They're hard to do. Okay, so let's get started with the beginning narrative. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Elvis. Okay, so I'm gonna refer Eivor as female because I played as her. Um, so. You are Eivor Wolfkist, and she is out for revenge for her family and clan. So basically, she has the Ark of Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Uh, <laughs> well, the, at least I can see. And good thing is, the assassination um, confession rooms are back. Unlike in Odyssey, where they didn't even appear. I mean... You have to def also you have to you're an assassin obviously a viking assassin which doesn't make really that much sense in and like um you know but um you obviously you get the hidden blade within a, a f I forgot how many hours in like like two hours or so into the game, I don't remember. But the graphics are awesome, I love them. This is a PlayStation 4. I'm playing it on the Pro, but I can't play it enhanced because my TV won't let me. Um, and basically you're taking out, well, you're not really an assassin, you're a hidden one. They st they have only, they haven't called themselves assassins yet, and you are working with your brother Sigurd, who has found the hidden ones. Um, I forgot their names. Haytham, Haytham, and I forgot the other one's name. Oh, Bassim. I don't know if I said it right. So you get. This is like the scene where you get your hidden blade, and you're also fighting against the, um, 
I forgot what they were called. I have a bad memory. Um. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind uh, of smith what makes is a weapon, weapon like this? Uh, it is less a weapon than a tool. The Order of the Ancients. That's what it was. Sorry. <laughs> the Order of the Ancients. You're fighting against. I had to think for a second. Um, and Basim is more like on your side than Haytham is, obviously, as we can see in this clip. Um, I, it, I, I don't know if it's because of my gameplay style or how bad I am at games. Um, uh, but I can't really assassinate that. <laughs> There's not really that much uh, opportunities to. Um, and now we this finally got a mistake. smarter assassin a who won't give away their who won't give up their, fi who won't give up their finger because of a hidden blade. Well, actually, technically first, no, no the technical first one was Darius, if we are talking about canicity, and then it was Eivor, I guess, unless if there is other ones that are missing. So no sacrifice of the finger. And you get the leap of faith um, of shortly after, and you get to do settlement building. <laughs> Yay! At least um, you don't get reminded another settlement needs your help, like in Fallout 4. And it has less depth than Fallout 4's did. And thank God you don't have somebody breathing down your shoulder saying, Another settlement needs your help. But, um, this is pretty, this is a pretty good looker of a game. Um, I will be quiet for this one so you can hear... The voice acting. Our destination is there. I suspect you mean to throw me off this cliff. Is that it? Please tell me if I'm near the mark. And spoil the surprise? To perform the leap of faith, you must give yourself over to something greater. The gods? Yourself. Embrace the hope that death will not come before you are prepared to meet it. Believe this, and you will fear nothing. Our deaths are prefigured, weaved into the fabric of the world. To fear this would be a waste of worry and tears. Good. Then your mind is already attuned to my lesson. I will leap first. On my word, you must follow. Lean into your faith, into your strength, and take flight. You want me to jump from here? Yes. I would sooner grow wings and fly away. Thank you for the lesson, but... Wait! And watch! Hide them! Hide them! Pig-headed fool! Are you injured? You see! My faith grew stronger than my fear! And that loam cushioned your fall! Eivor! I have not seen this side of you before! Do not feed your fear! Conquer it! <sighs> I've seen my death in a vision. It was not here. Not today. Perfect fall. And how did it feel? You spoke true. It was madness and vigor and perching of fear. A gift I give myself. I see that now. Thank you for showing me the way. Of course. And thank you, Eivor, for hearing me out. You called this leap of faith a sacred rite. Do all hidden ones practice this same ritual? As far as I know, 
It is a right of by working. Besides, okay, so now apparently we're gonna look some bugs that I've had. Or a people person, you know? So I this see. is um Avor deciding to um use her arrow as a cane. Which we all know won't work. So she decides to look around so nobody can take away her um oh now she puts it back good thing she didn't shoot it <laughs> and our next glitch is uh, apparently the uh order of the ancients are um hiring floating heads with no faces they're just hi they're hiring people with only eyes and hair but good thing it's not our hero who's um suffering from the bug like a uh, unity did apparently they wanted to come right back i'm showing you how it didn't affect any of the other templar members what do this that one the suck of blood I get it cuz he's a leech and leeches suck blood <laughs> Okay, now we're in the modern day with Layla. As you can see, for some reason she... It, this game only takes place two years after. And she looks way older. And she's also smoking, which is bad for you. Don't smoke. And uh, she also is taking a liking to the staff of Hermes. Which she took away from Cassandra from Odyssey. Spoiler alert from that game? I don't know. If you haven't played, obviously, Odyssey, then um, you should play it. It was really good. And she got some chocolate milk. Sorry, Layla. I prefer regular milk over this. Now, when did this become something funny impressions? So, I'm just... I haven't gotten to the end of the story. I'm like, the first quarter of the story. I'm hoping that they are not turning this into a copy of Assassin's Creed 3 ending. Just hope so. Electrolytes. Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. <coughs> How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Okay, I hate these puzzles so much. After I finished this puzzle, I felt so nauseous and I was blinded. Okay, but take it slow. We don't know what this thing is. I um even I didn't get it on my first try. Like I don't know if it's just me that it got nauseous over this. Right after, it's just the lights and all of that. They didn't need to add that. I did. I would rather prefer none of this. Doesn't stay in there, so we could uh, stay out of the modern day. I'm. I came here for assassinating people in the olden days, or the not the olden days, the uh, the other day. You know, in history. Um, I didn't come here to do puzzles with Layla. It's just like, come on, this was, this section was really boring. So I'll let you see um, how a part of it I did. 
I just hate puzzles. I hate puzzles! Especially ones that are so blinding. Like, look at this. They couldn't have added a different color, like a black or something like that. Cause it's just blinding and it hurts your eyes. Trust me. I it took me like over fifteen minutes to finish this puzzle. And I got help from the internet. So having to look at this having to look at dark and light blue for f fifteen plus minutes, it's not good. No 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 no. So now um this isn't just in the uh, modern day section of the game no you should be expected to see it in the actual simulation of the game so blind it but it's less blinding when you do it in the game so, and the the game, the simulation part of the game. It's just, I don't know why they made this one blinding. It hurts your eyes, trust me. Okay, choices in this game. Um, let's just say, uh, they kind of matter a lot more than an Odyssey. A little bit more. Um, I've only played 60 hours and I've had had that many dialogue options, which I wish that they didn't really because it completely messes up the lore of the game. So I hope they technically go backwards. I guess they could keep the RPG elements, but without the um dialogue options because. It, it, it just doesn't make any sense, to be honest. Like, they made an ex- I don't know what the excuse is for this animus. Um, I forgot what it was. But, it, it, I just wish they didn't do cho- like, choices- your choices will matter. They're trying to copy The Witcher, is what I hear from a lot of people. And they might be right, sadly. But let's just say the combat for me, it was really hard. Odyssey, you were allowed to change um, the buttons, like if you wanted it the alternate way, or you wanted it um, the default way. But in this game, you are forced to, you can do that sort of thing, but they want you to map it out yourself. I don't know why they couldn't have just done that. I don't know if they're using a new engine. I think they are using a new engine. Um, and also abilities are unlocked by looking- if not just by buying them. You actually have to look through the world to get an ability, which I think is a very vast improvement from the Odyssey game. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, the, this video game is kind of, it's getting really enjoyable. Um, also, the choice, like I said, choices kind of matter, kind of don't. Um, so I'm going to leave you off right here, right now. I hope you all have a good day. Don't forget, mask up. Um, and, uh... Thank you. Yeah, don't forget to mask up. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Which, wastrels, um, I think we'll be... I'm gonna be posting two videos today, table. trying to. No. My you official, finally, before. over Rubble months and me. months, <laughs> two months of waiting, um, you guys are going to get the review for Sackboy, A Big Adventure. I know, it's totally different from between the two. 
games are totally different. So I'm glad they brought back the uh, assassination thing, and I'm glad that they put they brought Odin in to help you describe your choices and what they would do. So hope you guys have a good day. Bye. How much are you willing to lose? He deserves death, Oswald. That is our way. Eivor, please! Yeah. Blood for blood leaves no warmth in the hearts of men, Eivor. None at all. you is devotion but I need your help I'm poor I have four hungry children and nothing else I weave baskets for the market but my cart is ruined how can I repair it or sell my wares without it without you I'm listening child of Vermis oh mighty God I beg you help me your prayer is Heard. You will find riches at your door sooner than you expect. <laughs> <laughs> 